Uh, the next one I got, this is one I had never seen, but Absolute Sublime One, Jay, Jay um, he, he talked about this movie, um, and I hadn't even heard of it. I'm, I mean, I think I've heard of it, but I never knew what it was, and I watched it, and it's um, uh, Robert Rodriguez film, and uh, I think Quentin Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino stars in it, too, along with George Clooney, but I think that he had something to do with the writing or whatever. I don't know everything about it. But this was really cool. Um, totally, the first like half of the movie is totally different from the second half of the movie. And if you only watch the first half, if someone told you what happens in the second half, you would never believe them. It's just, I don't want to say much about it, but it's really cool. It's got it's also got um, Harvey Keitel. What's that? I always forget this girl's name, but she's so cute. So hot. What's her name? Sama Hayek. I always forget her name. She's so sexy in this movie. Um, next one I got is a Ron Howard movie, The Missing. This was really cool. It's about um, this wo this woman. Um, her f oh man, I, I I watched this like two weeks ago, and I'm having trouble recalling everything about it. But I really liked it. This was one of the best ones I watched in the past month. I had never seen it, but it's kind of got like a mystical side to it. It's like a western. It stars Tommy Lee Jones and Kate Blan Blanchett. Just watch it. I, I'm not going to say much about it. Next one I got, uh, another classic Michael J. Fox movie, The Frighteners. Um, basically, Michael J. Fox's character can see ghosts, and he gets these ghosts to like haunt certain people so that he can go in, and they pay him money to get rid of the ghosts, and they, they don't know that the ghosts actually work for him. And Basically, there's this one guy that's going around killing people. He's a serial killer, but when he died, he's still killing people as a ghost. So... It's about Michael J. Fox's character trying to stop it, and it's really funny and really cool movie, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it already. The next movie I always heard of, but I always avoided it because I just figured it was a chick flick, but it absolutely is not a chick flick. It's um, Scent of a Woman, starring Al Pacino, and um, it stars... Come on, someone always calls me when I'm not doing this. I don't know why, someone always has to call me. Okay, it stars Chris O'Donnell and Al Pacino, and this is, in my opinion, and people are going to say no way to this, but this is Al Pacino's best movie, his best acting job, let's say that. Um, oh, come on. Sorry, it's my phone. Um, but basically, Chris O'Donnell is like really young in this movie. Oh, and also has um, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I know a lot of you might not know who he is, or you may have heard of him. But he's from the Rochester area, so around here, he's like a big deal. And a few years back, he won the Best Actor for his role in Capote, which was good. But he, before that, before he got a shot in that movie, he was in like a lot of movies as really like small characters and stuff. Like, he's in some good movies, like The Talented Mr. Ripley and stuff like that. But he recently, he's been doing his own stuff, and it's been pretty good. This next movie, um, The Great Buck Howard. I bought this just because Tom Hanks is my favorite actor, and... This actually stars his son, Colin Hanks. And Colin Hanks, I think if you put him in his... If he, he was born back when his dad was his age, like, he could have done the same roles that his dad did, like Big or um, The Burbs or Money Pit. He, he seems like just as good of an actor. I mean, as far as his comedy. And Tom Hanks was really good in comedy. And uh, I think that I want to see him in some more bigger roles to see if he's really good, but... I, I'm really hoping he can be like his father. Uh, I'm really disappointed with Tom Hanks. The last three or last two movies he's done have been stupid uh, Angel vs. Demons and th those dumb Dan Brown movies. I really wish he'd stop wasting his time. And Ron Howard, too. He's one of my favorite directors. He's wasting his time on these crappy movies that are based off of a... The Dan Brown was basically... He's, he actually believes that stuff. Like, it's ridiculous. He basically made up his own religion and made books out of it, and they're bestsellers, and now... My favorite actor is doing his movies, and he's not even doing a good job in them. Like, I actually watched the first one, and I couldn't believe how stupid it was. Anyways, this movie's cool. It's about a magician who was basically in the twilight of his career. Of his career, He used to appear on Johnny Carson. Like, they said he was on Late Night with Johnny Carson 61 times. And This is actually based off of a true story of another guy, and they said his name at the end of the film, but I can't remember who it was. But it stars um, John Malkovich and Colin Hanks, uh, Emily Blunt, Steve Zahn's in it for a little while. And then Tom Hanks has a couple scenes in it. He actually plays Colin Hanks' father, which is cool. I think that's the only time they've ever 
played father and son. I could be wrong about that. Next one, I just watched this last night. The Usual Suspects. Basically, I figured out there's like a twist ending, and I figured out what the twist was halfway through the movie, but then I doubted myself because they basically lie to you and trick you into thinking that you're wrong about this. Because they show stuff that that didn't happen, and then they just tell you, oh, well, he was lying to the cops when he retold the story, so what you saw didn't really happen. So that, uh, it's... When you see Stephen Baldwin, this is the reason I avoided this. Stephen Baldwin is the... And I'm glad he's a Christian now. He's like, he's a good, doing some good stuff, charitable stuff. And But as an actor, he just wasn't that great of an actor. But um, it had its moments. Kevin Spacey, I thought, did a really good job in it as far as acting. I just didn't think the story was that good. And this is directed by Brian Singer. It's the guy who directed the first two X-Men movies. Um, the next one I got was Mr. Nanny starring Hulk Hogan. And I enjoyed it. It's just a stupid movie I used to like as a kid, so I wanted to to get it um basically he's an ex wrestler and he has to get a job and he thinks he's getting a security job he ends up basically babysitting these two kids and it it's if you watch the pacifier the pacifier pretty much ripped off that movie and i like the pacifier but i totally forgot how similar they are next one i got this is sean c phillips favorite movie um heavyweights and i used to like watching this as a kid um the Disney movie. It's about all these kids that um, go to a fat camp, and the fat camp has been taken over by Ben Stiller's character, and this is one of Ben Stiller's first roles. He's basically like a psychotic like guy who makes the kids work really hard. He doesn't let them have fun. and It's a cool movie. You'll like it. Um, next one. This one I've had for like, since it came out. It was, it's been out for like a year and a half. My friend Sean has been borrowing it for since basically, bef I hadn't even opened it. He had been borrowing it for so long. He, it still had the tape on it where he ripped it open. And, but I just got it back. It's Valkyrie with Tom Cruise. And a lot of people don't like Tom Cruise. And the thing that's kind of stupid about this movie is that he doesn't speak in a German accent. He's a Nazi soldier. But basically he did the German accent and the director didn't like it so they took it out. And I don't think it really takes away from the movie. Um, the story's cool and it's a true story about these people that attempted to kill Adolf Hitler. And they basically almost did. If it weren't for a couple of key things, small things going going wrong, it would have though everything would have been different with World War Two. Um, the, the next one I got is vice versa, starting Judge Reinhold and Fred Savage. And this was okay. I actually he couldn't believe how funny he was. I was expecting Fred Savage to be the best part of the movie, but Judge Reinhold was really funny in this. He Basically, it's like the same thing that's been done a hundred thousand times, where the 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 parent switches bodies with the kid, and that's what happens in this movie. So, so Fred Savage is in his dad's body and going to work, and vice versa. It's pretty funny. The next one I got was Highlander, um, and starring Christopher Lambert and Sean Connery, and this is really corny if you watch it nowadays. My, I guess maybe if I watched it before now I would have liked it if I watched it back in the day but uh, I still think it's just not that great um, it's okay it has a cool idea but it, I just feel like they could have done a better job and I don't I don't know if I really would want to see a sequel uh, like a remake of it I don't think they're planning on it but my friends were talking about they wanted to see a remake I don't know if the remake would be any good uh, the next one I got is the ice harvest um, starring John Cusack and Billy Bob Thornton and this just seemed like I don't know. It didn't really have much of a story to it. I didn't like it that much. It was just okay. I got it for three bucks. And the last one I got, this was the worst movie that I watched, but I still, the only reason, sorry, it's my phone again. The only reason I liked it at all was because it has Clint Eastwood in it. It's called True Crime. Basically about Clint Eastwood's character. He's a reporter and he's trying to, um, He's, he's working on this piece where he's supposed to interview a guy on death row just to see what it's like to be on death row. But he ends up starting to think that the guy is innocent, so he's trying to prove this guy's innocence. And um, it's just not very good. The, some of the acting in this is so bad. Even Clint Eastwood's acting is not good. But anyways, that's it for my DVD update. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.